Hello, Ben and This is Chris with Foamcats. We're taking a look at a game called Fix It Up Kate's Adventure by G5 Entertainment Gaming Sensations. I just kind of added that gaming sensations. I think it's just G5. This is an all female dev team, super hot. And they made this game where you're this girl named Kate and you are about to get some money. Um, you rent out cars and it's quite profitable, apparently. I think this is your dad and he like meep meep meeps and then, Kate darling, yeah, it's dad. So don't say anything inappropriate. Uh, she looks at her butt and then he's like, Asian people love tigers, I'm gonna get like two women. And she like Hadoukens and then he's like pointing a wrench at her. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't keep up with that. Okay, so this is level one. And I don't know what's going on exactly. I think you change locations as the game proceeds. You're next to a railroad track, which I don't know what that's gonna mean. Maybe uh, down the line you'll like park a crappy car on the railroad tracks for insurance purposes. And then just like get money. I think people do that, right? Okay, so you have a couple of cars, and they look kind of meh. I don't know, the blue one's okay, but that brown one looks like a Volvo. And... Yeah, you drag it into the repair shop, and it comes out, like, fast and furious. Not, uh... It doesn't come out in a fast and furious time period, but it comes out with, like, racing stripes and stuff like that. Yeah, Does that one have racing stripes? That's a stripe, right? Oh yeah, double stripe, game over, and it's like slightly off-center for extra points. Okay, let's get this uh, brown turd polished up here. It's a safe turd. I'm not hitting on Volvo. Oh yeah! Okay, so that looks nice now. All red with white stripes. I would drive that. And that's it for the first level. Yes, it's that easy. It's that easy! Okay, so I'm already getting money, the ball is rolling. Um, I'm gonna start adding buildings. I upgrade from my trailer to like uh, like this double wide and a half. It's like an L-shaped Tetris piece. Okay, um, things are already moving up. You're kind of learning as you go, and if you're paying attention while you play this game, you will learn how to be a gangster and actually like rent out cars or like buy low and sell high. And come on, people. Um, in these like tough times and all this economy business, you can make some money just like buying cars wow. off of Craigslist and eBay and then selling them later or selling them on a different site or advertising them better. And this game Fix It Up is gonna get you going. Okay, so I just put that car out front and then this lady instantly was drawn to it. Um, it was the racing stripe, it gets them every time. Okay, yeah, so I think Am I polishing my car? Oh yeah, it didn't get rented out for a while, and they get dirty. So you gotta keep things looking fresh, because no one's gonna be wanting to buy stuff off your lot if it's all dusty. It's just like in real life. It don't take long, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the same lady. Uh, she actually has Alzheimer's, and it's kind of messed up, but you keep selling cars to her. Okay, buy cheap, sell high. Yeah, they know what's up. They're teaching you basics. Um, I think in this next level... Oh yeah, you get to pick if you want to even keep going or if you want to pass on the car. Um, I'm scooping things up left and right at this point just because it's still intro levels and I think they just want you to keep buying things. So I just bought some hunk of junk. I'm gonna repair it and then uh, go through the same routine of cleaning it and then squatting it for a while if I can't uh, get it immediately to the front and then getting it to the front. Um, they do keep adding mechanics with each level. This game's actually kind of cool for as simple as it is. Um, later on, there's all kind of buildings you can add and the one that I want to do is add a bar. So then people come to buy a car and then they get drunk and then they end up buying like three cars. I really hope that's what happens. This game is going to be crazy. Okay, this is taking me a long time to figure- Oh, I had to order spare parts already. Like I'm on the second world and I'm already like out of parts. What's going on here? It's probably some foreign car, like some obscure make and model where the parts are hard to find. I had to like outsource it. It wasn't even available on like Amazon or next day. Don't you hate that stuff? Yeah, it's a defibrillator. It's going to take a couple of weeks to get that one here. Okay, so I just repaired that, and that was the end of the level. That was an easy one. Construct a repair shop. 
So it's super cheesy. They hold your hand at first, and that's it for this one. Uh, you can buy this. I'll find the price. Actually, I'll find the price right now. Uh, it's free! Oh my god, but there's in-app purchases. You can unlock the full game for $4.99. Okay, cool. Uh, way to go, G5. I like that you're ladies. Okay, that's 